Raider. Richter. What up? Uh, here, uh, is your mic working? I don't think. Uh, is, is this mic working? There hey, there we go. All right. What's up, guys? Yo. Okay, so we have Master Mario versus T3 Dome. Yep. T3 Dome, someone that uh, I saw a lot of at Wednesday Night Fights. Sorry for not being as well. I just beat him. Like, I, I think he's a uh, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, all the ECI crew is pretty much strong. You have uh, T3 Dome, Rafi, Giovanni, uh, uh, Mega. Selects. Like, they're all really strong players that can consistently make it out of pools here, but, but again, I feel uh, just like making like top 16 or top 24 at uh, MSM and uh, Wednesday Night Fights. Yet again, it doesn't matter. I mean, Richter really just struggles to land, so if Mario does manage to get in, Richter's gonna have a bad, bad time eating all those up airs. And it's gonna hang on ledge a little bit too long, and that's he saved his double jump, and so was able to tether back on the stage. But it doesn't matter when you just get up smashed like that. Yeah, that's Mario, really great ledge trapping there. I think after the down tilt, he might have been able to like down tilt the combo. But I mean, he still got the uh, ledge trapping. Though. I mean, if we're talking about ledge trapping, I mean the Belmonts are the kings of it. I mean, I, I honestly can't really think of any characters that ledge trapping. Just like. I mean, I, I believe their entire kit was built on, like, what can we do to make the best ledge trapping character and then give it to Belmonts? Yeah. Air extension. Oh, he, the, if the up air connected, he would have got a forward air. Definitely see why. That. Those, those falling up airs right by the edge are so, so strong. And again, all these fairs coming out, and that's how you know you're up against a good Belmont player, is that they'll space out with fairs rather than cross. Oh, yeah. Especially like angling down the board here. Really, really important for this character. Yeah. Oh, but he gets a quick confirm off the cross, and unfortunately, not going to be able to find anything out of it, but manages to punish the spot dodge with the, the down tilt. But that down air too, almost taking the stock right there. We hit it back here. Yeah, Mass Mario is not having a break in terms of the stock. It's just so scary because Zone has almost max rage now, and Mass Mario, any kind of confirm from the Holy Water and some kind of smash attack. Oh man, the Holy Water was in a off the down. I think he, I think he was trying to throw out Axe, and it just didn't come, come back yet. Oh, I see. Yep, you should never die that move. <laughs> Unless you're like extremely high percent. I mean, that move starts going at like 170, 180 percent. Yeah. Oh, the axe. Oh, man. There's so much to avoid here. And uh, Master Mario manages to find his way back on the stage, but oh, just barely avoiding that fireball. But the down throw to, or down tilt to up air will clean out T3 Dome's second stock. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah. So I was about to say, like, if T3 don't can just find a quick fair or whatnot, he will be able to even things up real quick. Oh, yeah. And I, I just love how Master Mario is just utilizing this down for the ledge trap. We've seen him get so much stock, so much damage off of it as well. He's barely going to survive that forward air. Oh, there it is. Okay, the forward throw should do the trick there. Didn't need anything too crazy to get the stock. I mean, it's one of those things, like, if you do land in holy water, DI up and away as hard as you can because you might be able to avoid a uh, forward smash or right, right. anything. Even then you might be able to like DI out of it depending on like how hard you match. Yeah, pretty, pretty much the main thing is like how much time you have. Because like on reaction the forward smash takes a while, but like if they throw out the holy water and they already start like charging that smash, that's a little different or even like forward smash just comes out really, really quick. Ooh, the sour hit. The fans just sneaking that back here. Yeah, DD Dome kicking is very close, actually. I mean, with a very solid lead as well. Right. I mean, he does have to be careful. I mean, Mario is really strong at making up percent, so he just has to keep Mario out for pretty much the rest of the game. If he gets up air juggled like this, and there's the up B, and that'll be it. Whoa, uh, dang. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where 
where he was DIing. I mean, he might have been dead regardless, but that, that was just weird. I, he just flew so fast off of the uh, up B. I mean, he got hit like pretty high up into the up blast zone. So. Right, right, yeah. He was very close. And I mean, it's PS2. Right. Um, in terms of like stages for Mario to get the ladder off of, uh, PS2 is one of the better ones because it has a lower ceiling. The platform layout is pretty convenient in terms of just like where the platforms are. It's very spread out, so that's Mario just got that exception. Yeah. Looks like we are running it to game two here. Yeah, I mean, that, oh man. What, what a game one. DD Dome had all the control, honestly. And then, uh, kind of got Mario. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he got Master Mario at that point. Yeah, I mean, and, and uh, Master Mario played really well. Oh man, he tried to hit him with the smash. <laughs> I mean, if he had rage, that that, that might have been a thing. I, I don't think I I've seen it maybe like once on Twitter where someone got like that weird like Smash Four up view. The, the the single coin hit. Right, right, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen it once on Twitter like on a JJ stuff. But I mean, other than that, I've never seen it. But in a, in tournament, I've never seen it. it's like one of those Twitter lap combos. Yeah, and, and I mean it was on JJ stuff too. So I I know it was like kind of pretty good on JJ stuff. So if any, any character is still going to work on it. Ooh, using the cross to you know, pressure his opponent on ledge and managed to get back on stage pretty freely there. Again, I, I really want to point out how T3 Dome is doing such an incredible job of... Oh, okay, I was going to say, such an incredible job of not getting gifts. I almost had to take it back here. <laughs> right. I mean, you just saw him. Like, he's, that's why he saved his double jump. Using the down air to kind of mix up his recovery. Yeah, and it was really good, too, because he used the down air to get out of the way of the flood, which was very, very incredible. Really smart coming out from the dome. But Master Mario will close out the stock regardless. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And again, Mario will just take that opening for free. Yep, saving going right underneath. Oh, and there's the forward smash. Yep. Not quick enough and see that that he definitely had time though, yeah, 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 because T3 Dome like threw it out and then he also had to like dash to the left and then forward smash it. Right? So we'll quick up there into the fair and that will be the stalk right there. Wow, he did not even get hit by the edge. It, it's, it's actually pretty wild because if he DI'd in there, he probably might have not died. Like, he probably still would have potentially got laddered, but because he DI'd out on that first up air and the second up air, he, he just got seven. Oh, and there's this, yep, the optimal punish right there. Yeah, again, if you know your opponent's gonna shield off a of, uh, regular getup, you can true combo that axe into forward smash, and that will break a shield at home. Yeah. It's such a, the axe does so much shield damage, and you know, tipper forward smash on top of that. And like you said, it is like a combo in terms of like hit stun on the shield. So it's like they can't even drop through the invite if they want to. Right. Ooh, air dodges into the stage, but Master no, Mario's going to punish not, it for that. Oh. Wow. Man, Belmont just seemed to be that perfect weight for that double up air fair. I mean, yeah. Did you see like how far 